Can you guess Berlin's most popular tourist attraction? Is it the Fernsehturm? The Reichstag Dome? Or something else altogether? Berlin had more than 10 million tourists in 2022, and many visited these 12 popular attractions. Let's find out what they are. And we bet you'll never guess what came in first place. In 12th place is the Friedrichstadt Palast, which was visited by 432,000 people last year. The theatre is famous for its elaborate shows and its sheer size. At nearly 3,000 square metres, it boasts the world's largest theatre stage. It can easily hold 100 performers, from acrobats to dancers. It's no surprise that it has been one of the city's most popular entertainment venues for over a century. The 11th most visited place in Berlin is the Jewish Museum. It was built by architect Daniel Liebeskind, and its shape is reminiscent of a broken Star of David. The interior design is symbolic, with voids of space representing the lack of Jewish life after the Holocaust. The permanent exhibition recounts 1,700 years of German Jewish history, which were often marked by discrimination and exclusion before culminating in the Holocaust. You'll also learn about aspects of Jewish culture, like kosher food and what happens on Shabbat. The Jewish Museum is the first museum in our ranking, but it's not the last. At 10th place is the Kaiser Wilhelm Memorial Church, a landmark in the city's west. It's not difficult to spot with its mixture of old and new architecture. The church was destroyed during World War II, but the bombed-out tower was kept as a symbol of regeneration. The interior is sure to surprise you. It shines in blue and makes you feel as if you're inside an old Gothic cathedral. Take a moment to enjoy it. This plane at the German Museum of Technology is one of the so-called Raisin Bombers or Candy Bombers that supplied Berlin in 1948-49 during the Allied airlift. It's one of the many modern marvels held in this unique museum. With so much in the collection, you'll always discover something new. This hunk of machinery is the world's first computer. The Z1 was built in Berlin in 1938 by engineer Konrad Zuse. He used a vacuum cleaner motor to power it. And to make sure you don't lose your way, Robot Tim is happy to guide you through the museum. This way. Okay, now I'll take you to your destination. Dinosaurs may have died out millions of years ago, but they still have a large fan base, including at Berlin's Museum of Natural History. Here you'll have plenty of opportunities to learn about plant and animal species in the museum's exhibits. And these aren't the only creatures you'll find on our ranking. Tourists in Berlin often ask how to get to the Berlin Wall. A good place to start is the memorial on Bernauer Straße, where part of the former border fortifications have been transformed into an open-air exhibition. You'll learn how insurmountable the wall was and how many people lost their lives trying to get to the west. Next on our list is Berlin's iconic Fernsehturm, or the TV Tower. At 368 meters, it's the tallest structure in Germany. Take an elevator up 203 meters to the observation floor. It takes only 40 seconds.
One floor above, there's a restaurant with a rotating observation deck. From there, you have a bird's eye view over the entire city while you enjoy your meal. We hit the 1 million mark with number 5. 1.4 million visitors came to the German Bundestag last year. Its glass dome is a highlight and an absolute visitor magnet. The path to the top is a spectacular spiral walkway. Although the tickets are free of charge, be sure to reserve them online in advance. One of Berlin's newest institutions already reached number four, the Humboldt Forum. Although it may look like an historic building, it opened just two years ago and has already become a visitor favorite. The museum and exhibition space inside has lots on offer. There's art from all over the world, exhibitions about natural sciences, and artifacts from Berlin's history. Like the door of legendary techno club Tresor, which was kept in a bank vault. We finally arrived at the top of our list. What do you think made it into the top three? The Brandenburg Gate, the Holocaust Museum, or perhaps the Eastside Gallery? Sorry to disappoint you, although all three places are popular with tourists, they aren't found in the rankings since visitor numbers to public places aren't counted. In third place is the Nazi Documentation Center, Topography of Terror. It's a frightening name for a place where horrible events were planned and organized. From 1933 to 1945, this area near Berlin's Potsdamer Platz served as the Nazis' Gestapo, SS and Reich security main office. Today, the documentation center provides information about perpetrators and victims and keeps the memory of this cruel chapter of German history alive. Berlin's Museum Island, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's home to five museums that display art treasures spanning 6,000 years of human history. The Alters Museum houses a collection of antiquities, while the highlight in the Neues Museum is the bust of Queen Nefertiti. The Pergamon Museum is famous for the Pergamon Altar from ancient Greece which is currently under renovation. And here's a tip. On the first Sunday of each month, admission to many of Berlin's museums is free, including those on Museum Island. And now, finally, number one. More than five million people visited Berlin's two zoos last year, the Zoologische Garten in the west and the Tierpark Friedrichsfelder in the city's east. Berlin is home to Germany's giant panda twins, Pitt and Paula, who were born here. A total of around 30,000 animals from 1,500 species live in the two zoos. So if you want to see them all, it's going to take a while. Better yet, you can plan to come back again. After all, Berlin is certainly worth more than one trip.